In this video, we're going to add and subtract whole numbers. Remember, a whole number does not have a fraction or a decimal. Here are some key words as we add and subtract whole numbers. The first is the word sum. Sum is actually the answer to an addition problem. So when we say find the sum of two and five, the sum is seven because that was the answer. Difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So if I said find the difference of eight and two, the difference would be the answer, or six. Knowing these words is important, especially when you have word problems. Many times, the word problem does not give you the equation. So knowing the words sum and difference helps you know which operation you're supposed to perform. Being able to add and subtract whole numbers is essential as these operations are used regularly in our everyday lives. Let's go through an example together. This says find the sum of 289 and 1,342. Now it helps to line these up vertically, but with addition, we actually have two properties, the commutative property of addition and the associative property of addition that allow us to add in any order. So when we line these up, we can switch up the numbers so that the one that has the most digits is on the top and the one that has the fewer amount of digits is on the bottom. When you line them up, you have to make sure that each place value is lined up correctly. For example, the ones need to be lined up with the ones and the tens need to be lined up with the tens. Now that we have the numbers lined up, we can go ahead and start adding. We start by adding the numbers in the ones column that's the 2 and the 9. 2 plus 9 is 11. Now that has a number in the tens and the number in the ones. We take the digit in the ones and place it below the 2 and the 9. Then we take the digit in the tens and place it above the other numbers in the tens position. Now we have three numbers to add. 1, 4, and 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. When we add the 1, we get 13. Now, remember we said that was with 10s, so what we really have is 130. But we can write the 3 in the 10s position and then the 1 in the 100s position. We can then add 2, 3, and 1. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then we have nothing to add with the 1, so we can just bring it down. Now, if you notice, I did not put my comma in the work, but you do need the comma in the answer. So we have 1,631 as the sum. Now, this one says to find the difference between 8,904 and 273. With addition, we could change the order of the numbers because of the commutative property of addition and the associative property of addition. However, with subtraction, we cannot change the order. Those two properties do not apply to subtraction. In this case, we have to write them in the order that was given, the first number minus the second number. Now, just like with addition, we need to make sure that our columns are lined up properly. The ones with the ones, the tens with the tens, and so forth. Now, we can go ahead and subtract our ones columns. Four minus three is one. Then we can move on to the tens column. 0 minus 7. We cannot take 0 minus 7. Because of this, we have to go to the 9 and we need to borrow. Now that 9 is really worth 900. When we borrow, we're really borrowing 100. So the 9 becomes an 8 and then we can change the 0 to the 10. Now we can take 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. Moving on, now we have eight minus two, which is six, and then eight minus nothing is eight. Our difference is 8,631.